spot where the O'Rourke family had lived for almost a hundred years was known as Island McGee. In the long, narrow, hilly road that stretched between high thorn hedges to the nearby town bore the name of Nohead Lonin. Each Monday morning, it was Kathleen O'Rourke's custom to walk down the Lonin to the village post office. Since she started out at an early hour, the road was usually deserted. But on a certain morning in June, as she passed the cottage of her neighbor Molly Donovan, she saw Molly standing at the gate, beckoning to her. Kathleen, you wouldn't be going for the post now, would you, darling? That I would, Molly. And could you be doing a great favor for me while you're there now? It's my brother, Patrick. Three months he's gone now, Kathleen, and not a word has he written me. And I'm not worried about him. So you'd be wanting me to inquire at the post office if there's a letter waiting for you? That's it. If it's not too much to be asking you. It is nothing at all, Molly. Wait right here. I'll be back. And Kathleen O'Rourke continued along the road. At the post office, she collected her family's mail, but the postmaster shook his head and said there was nothing for the Donovan household. And so Kathleen turned back toward home. And it was then, just after she'd passed the outskirts of the village and started up the Noed Lonin, it was then that she saw the man. He was tall. She had a feeling that he was handsome. A few moments later, she stood at Molly Donovan's gate. No word from the brother. No word and nothing at all. Oh, heaven help him. Now I am worried for sure. But Kathleen O'Rourke did not stay to reassure her neighbor. She sped quickly on toward home. And only when she reached the top of the hill did she stop to look behind her. Well, now, what do you know? I thought the lad was a stranger in these parts. But there he is, standing at the gate, talking to Molly Donovan. It was not until the following Monday, when she passed by the Donovan cottage again, that she had a chance to ask Molly a few questions. Who was he now, Molly? The lad that was walking right behind me last Monday morning. I saw no lad, Catherine. How can you say that, Molly? You know yourself he stopped to talk to you? It's mistaken, ye are, lass. No one said a word to me that morning, besides yourself. But I saw him with my own eyes. He was standing here at this gate. If this is some joke you're playing, darling, you're picking a poor time for it. Sure, and my heart's too heavy even for that. Tis my brother, Padre. We heard last night. He's gone, darling. Washed overboard. Lost at sea. It happened early last Monday morning. He must have died just when you were running up no head loaning. Yes, Molly Donovan's brother died at the very moment the strange young man appeared on the road behind Kathleen O'Rourke. And though Kathleen saw that man following after her, saw him stop at the gate and talk to Molly, Molly herself was unaware of his presence. This is only one of many such stories out of the country of error. A story incredible but true. Mm-hmm.